Hey everybody, welcome to RamTV and welcome back to my MLB show, New York Mets Franchise. This is episode 21. And if you guys aren't caught up with the playlist in my channel, here we are for this August 20th game against the 65 and 63 uh, LA Angels. They got Julio Teheran on the mound, who's 13 and 6, and we got No Senegal looking for his ninth win, trying to finally make it over the 500 hump. So we'll see you guys in LA. Set for baseball here this evening. Hit pretty well. And then we're going the opposite direction. Field. Going left field, and it's not going to be caught. And it's going to be a gradual double to start the game. Brendan Nimmo. Opposite field. I love it. Ooh, that is Ren Don striking out with a curveball. That's another base hit. That's going to send Dominic Smith home, play the plate, and he's going to be safe. RBI single for Med Rosario, and it's now 2-0 Mets. That's another. Ah, it's going to be a double play. No. This is going to be a fielder's choice, and the Mets score again. It is 3-0. What a play by the first baseman. Now full count to Conforto with Pete Alonso waiting on deck. Oh my gosh, Conforto destroys it. And it is out of here. That is a three-run shot by Michael Conforto, number 34 of the year, going 459 feet. What a bomb. So a three-run shot to right center field. 34 home runs now on the year. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. That makes things six to nothing, Mets. Here in the second inning, dropping six runs. Chasing the right field. Conforto's going to make the catch. He's going to drive in the run. So it's going to be six to one here in the third inning. A little blooper. It's going to drop. Ah, that's not even a little blooper. That's going to be an RB2 run triple for Brandon Nimmo. It looks like he just sorted it out there. I didn't think it would actually hit that hole and be good enough for a triple, but that is a triple. Making it 8-1 to one here in the fourth. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And it is 9-8 to eight now here in the fifth inning. That kind of, uh... oh my gosh, <laughs> and that is another home run, and that ties things up, gosh, we're back to square one, Conforto again, breaking the tie, it's out of here, into the rocks, and it's now 10 to 9 Mets, I had to edit out the, the two home runs that I gave up. That's why I couldn't air it because it was filled with a lot of cursing. <laughs> I had to edit it out. But the Mets grabbed the lead 10 to 9. And hopefully that'll be it for the game. And Fuller was really putting some good contact with the ball, but going foul. But this time, over the fence. It's Dominic Smith. Dives, drops to deep right field, and it's out of here into the bullpen. That is a three-run shot by Dominic Smith, number 17 of the year. That makes things 13 to nine. Boy, talk about pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches. Attack the strike zone early. It's gonna be hit and run. It might be fast enough to go. That's gonna be an RBI double for Michael Conforto. Hit and run was on. And Ford taking advantage of it. And it's now 14 to 9. That is a home run by Pete Alonso. Wasn't sure. But that goes the opposite direction. It's out of here. Now it's 16 to 9. Number 54 of the year for Pete. Holy crap. The, the Angels tied things up, and all of a sudden, the Mets were like, you know what? Let's put, let's put the pedal to the metal and score some runs. And give Syndergaard that padding. 
Wow, the power of Pete Alonso going opposite field. And the Mets win 19 to 10. High scoring affair, lots of home runs. Uh, I believe Robbie can, not Robbie, no. Um, Michael Conforto gonna be the player of the game only because he was on fire. He was clearly on fire, hitting two home runs. Man, <laughs> uh, yeah, two for a uh, three for five, two home runs, and a double. And the win goes to Noah Syndergaard, even though he gave up nine runs. Not really happy about that, but just so much offense in both teams. Twenty-one hits for the Mets, thirteen hits for the Angels, and that puts a thing that puts it to rest for this uh, series. And the Mets sweep them. Michael and Ford, Dominic Smith also had crazy games. Wilson Ramos also with four RBIs. Unfreaking believable. Okay. So we finish that series against the Angels. We then go down to Oakland. Uh, so we can have Marcus Stroman in the next video. It's going to be against Washington to finish the series. So let's send this through. We lost. The Mets won while wow, we came back. We lost again. Oh my gosh, we are losing. <laughs> we lost again. We won. Okay. So, uh, so far, we have 200 people though. We got Jeff McNeil. Uh, about two more days left on the DL. We got Eduardo Nunez with a 1 6 day injury with form tightness. Should be fine within the next few days. We're not really too worried about that, but I'm going to wrap things up here. We got Max Scherzer against Marcus Strong in the next episode. 12 and 7 versus 12 and 4. Again, Max Scherzer's ERA is ridiculous with 2.25. We're going to try to increase that to get some distance between him and Jacob DeGrom. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of My MLB 20, the show, New York Mets franchise. So if you did, click that like button, leave in the comments below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, I am exclusively streaming to. Facebook Gaming, so please follow me there. Click that like button whenever I come out with a new video and talk to me in chat. We'll hang out whenever I stream. It's usually at nighttime in the East Coast. Um, so yeah, don't forget to click the like button. Hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.